Matthew Desmond, Evicted, Poverty and Profit in the American City In the eye-opening book, Evicted, Poverty and Profit in the American City, by Matthew Desmond, the author delves into the dark reality of evictions and their profound impact on families and communities across the United States. The summary explores the reasons behind the increasing frequency of evictions. From rising rent costs and diminishing incomes to the scarcity of public housing assistance. It also highlights the racial divide in the housing market, specifically focusing on the disproportionate impact on African American communities, particularly women. As we navigate through the lives of those affected, we come to understand the long-lasting mental and emotional toll evictions can have on individuals. Evictions America's Unseen Crisis Imagine walking by a house, only to witness a family's possessions scattered on the front lawn, the aftermath of an eviction. Unfortunately, this sight is increasingly common in the United States, with millions potentially facing homelessness due to difficulties paying rent. Many might assume that public housing or assistance would be readily available to low-income families, but the truth is that only a quarter of eligible recipients actually receive any support. Determining the exact number of evictions remains a challenge, as census data often overlooks a significant portion of cases that don't make it through the official housing court system. Take Milwaukee, for example, over three years, an estimated one-eighth of the city's tenants experienced eviction. Back in 2012, New York City saw almost 80 eviction cases daily, and that same year, one out of nine Cleveland renters and one in 14 Chicago tenants received eviction summons. However, the current housing crisis in the United States wasn't always this severe. While the struggle to pay rent has long been a challenge, landlords rarely resorted to evictions in the past, even during the Great Depression. In the 1930s and 40s, evictions led to widespread community resistance and public condemnation of the landlord. A notable example occurred in February 1932, when a landlord attempted to evict three Bronx families, sparking protests by over a thousand outraged citizens, with only the freezing temperatures preventing an even larger turnout. The growing prevalence of evictions in America raises critical questions about the state of the nation's housing crisis, income inequality, and the need to provide adequate support for vulnerable citizens. As this wave of eviction swells, Communities and policymakers alike must confront these challenges head on and find solutions to safeguard the well being of millions. Evictions rise amidst unbalanced income. The increasing frequency of evictions can be attributed to the widening gap between rent costs and household incomes. Studies show that between 2001 and 2014, rents rose by 7% while incomes declined by 9%. A comfortable living standard suggests spending no more than 30% of income on rent, but census data reveals that most low-income households spend over half of their income on rent, with some spending up to 70%. This leaves many struggling to afford basic necessities and resorting to selling food stamps or relying on neighbors. America's dwindling manufacturing jobs contribute to this issue, particularly in cities like Milwaukee. The resulting high unemployment rate among African-American families and atrophy of welfare benefits make it increasingly difficult for households to maintain rent payments, increasing eviction rates. A legless veteran named Lamar serves as a case study of this issue, an unexpected welfare check forced him to repay the state, causing him to fall behind on rent and eventually face eviction. The Eviction Economy Living under the threat of eviction can lead to a life full of worry and hazardous living conditions. Sherina Tarver, a profit-driven landlady, and Tobin Charney, a trailer owner in Milwaukee, exploit this vulnerability to line their pockets while their tenants struggle to make ends meet. In this state of powerlessness, tenants are often too afraid to complain or ask for better conditions, leaving them at the mercy of their money-hungry landlords. When you're indebted to your landlord, mere survival becomes a challenge. This anxiety-ridden existence is often accompanied by poor living standards, as desperate tenants fear that voicing concerns may lead to eviction. These concerns are valid, as there are landlords like Sherina Tarver who prioritize profits over the safety of their tenants. 
Tarver's rental property caught fire, tragically killing one of her tenant's babies. Her first worry was not about the well-being of her tenant, but rather if she was financially or legally liable. Luckily for her, the fire inspector absolved Tarver of responsibility. The landlady's next worry was whether or not she'd be required to refund that month's rent. Again, she was relieved when she wasn't required to pay back a single dime. Tarver and another landlord, Tobin Charney, have mastered the art of profiting from vulnerable tenants by exploiting the threat of eviction. Charney, a property mogul in Milwaukee, earns $400,000 annually from his 131 trailer homes, some of which resemble garden sheds. In contrast, Tarver's multiple properties enable her to enjoy vacations in Jamaica and drive a luxury SUV. Meanwhile, their tenants can hardly afford to buy food after covering rent. Residents often go without decent living conditions as little money is spent on property maintenance and repairs. Lacking legal representation and constantly fearing eviction, tenants feel powerless to challenge unjust rent increases or push for better conditions. In this unjust cycle, landlords like Tarver and Charney continue to thrive financially, while their tenants remain trapped. Milwaukee's Racial Housing Divide The racial divide in Milwaukee's housing market is shockingly evident, with African Americans facing extreme exploitation. A disproportionate 75% of tenants summoned to housing court are black, and they often have no choice but to accept substandard housing in dangerous neighborhoods. The greatest fear for low-income white residents in trailer parks is being pushed into impoverished black communities. Black women are especially disadvantaged, with 1 in 5 facing eviction compared to 1 in 12 for Hispanic women and 1 in 15 for white women. This can largely be attributed to lower wages, single parenthood, and discriminatory practices that force single mothers to rent inadequate apartments. Despite the introduction of the Fair Housing Act in 1968, these vulnerable families still face daunting challenges in fighting housing discrimination. The Ripple Effects of Eviction Evictions can create devastating consequences, often trapping families in a cycle of poverty and poor mental health. The wrenching experience of eviction can lead to depression and even suicide, all while forcing one to navigate domestic difficulties and financial challenges. Empathy and understanding this reality is crucial for addressing the cycle of eviction and helping vulnerable communities escape the shackles of changing neighborhoods, poverty, and distress. Having to constantly move your family between deteriorating apartments, struggling to keep your possessions safe, and ensuring your children have sufficient food, clothing, and education is a frightening reality faced by many trapped in a cycle of evictions. This perpetual uncertainty takes a hefty toll on mental health. In fact, half of the mothers who have experienced eviction have reported symptoms of clinical depression, which can persist for numerous years, depleting their energy and optimism. The horrifying reality of eviction is evident in the statistics, housing-related suicides doubled when rents surged between 2005 and 2010, causing some psychiatrists to identify evictions as a significant precursor to suicide. The terror of eviction isn't solely about financial stress, even if rent is paid, incidents involving the police can serve grounds for eviction. Consequently, situations such as domestic abuse or other emergencies amplify housing anxieties. Evictions have far-reaching implications beyond mental health, they contribute to perpetuating poverty. When evicted, people face increased expenses, such as storage fees or replacing possessions. This unpredictability also raises the risk of job loss by nearly 15 percent, as the stress of eviction and the subsequent search for housing can affect work performance. In the year after an eviction, hardships like hunger, sickness, and utilities deprivation spike by 20 percent, and families can miss out on significant letters or benefit checks sent to previous addresses. As families grapple with eviction, they continue to be ushered into progressively worse neighborhoods, exposing themselves and their children to heightened crime, drug activity, and violence. By understanding the broader repercussions of eviction, we can better empathize and offer support to vulnerable communities grappling with this devastating cycle. The Power of Stable Homes A stable home is more than just a shelter, 
it is the heart of a thriving society that goes beyond physical walls to embody love, warmth, and safety. Recognizing it as a basic human right, multiple countries have implemented housing support programs effectively. To foster societal growth, the United States must address the ongoing housing crisis, reduce evictions, and prioritize the well-being of its citizens through expanded housing voucher programs. A home is the centerpiece of human life, transcending mere shelter as it encompasses warmth, safety, and love amongst family members. Different cultures inherently share this understanding, an ancient Egyptian hieroglyph represents both home and mother, while the Chinese term jia signifies family as well as home. These linguistic connections emphasize the home's importance as the fundamental unit of civilization. Nomadic lives fail to build strong social bonds and communities, consequently negatively affecting children who continuously change schools, lose friendships, and bear their parents' burdens. Psychological stability is tightly woven with community stability, without a steadfast home, individuals lack an incentive in investing in neighborhoods, forging relationships, or assisting one another. The United States must reevaluate its values, particularly the unalienable rights to life, liberty, and happiness, which are impossible to achieve without housing stability. One way to remedy this issue is by implementing a comprehensive housing voucher program. Inspired by Great Britain's housing benefit program and the Netherlands' housing allowances, vouchers could be granted to every family under a specific income level, similar to food stamps. Tenants would be responsible for only 30% of their housing costs, while the vouchers would take care of the remainder. While critics argue that housing aid could deter individuals from working, research overwhelmingly disagrees. Ensuring reliable housing should be a top priority to reduce eviction, homelessness rates, and societal suffering. By extending housing support, communities can prosper and guarantee a more stable future for all. The poignant book Evicted It exposes the need for a fundamental change in the way housing is approached in the United States. By exploring the lives of evicted individuals, we see the harsh consequences of this growing issue, from mental health struggles and job loss to increased hardships and perpetuation of poverty. Desmond suggests possible solutions, such as an expanded housing voucher program, to address the eviction crisis, as well as emphasizing the importance of recognizing stable housing as a basic human right. The message is clear, evictions have a profound and negative impact on society, and it is time for policymakers and citizens alike to confront and address this pressing issue.